Mobile applications are part of our everyday life. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore the domains connected to these apps and discover who they are sharing our data with. Let's get started. First thing first, open GitHub and copy the repository. Link is in the description. Now go to terminal, git clone and paste the repository. Hit enter. It's a small program. The download speed depends upon your system configuration and the speed of the internet. ls to see all the files and directories. Now type cd apk to url. ls again to see all the files. Now before executing this program, download the mobile application you like to scan or check. Do all this in a controlled environment with necessary permissions or download your own app to find the links or vulnerabilities associated with it and rectify the issues to make it safe for everyone. I already downloaded this app. All we need is to copy Xanti to apk to url directory. Now close this window. Time to get back to the terminal to launch simply type dot slash install dot sh hit enter now to run this tool simply type apk to url and the file name xanti in our case now this tool will show all the urls associated with this particular app with the help of this you can easily find that with whom your data is going to be shared this easy to use tool is very fast and helpful for pen testers, developers, bug bounty hunters and ethical hackers. If you find any error while initializing this tool, simply install apk tool and jdx before running it. The output time depends upon how large the mobile application is. Now here you have all the domains linked with this particular app. Copy and type cat, paste the path. Hit enter. Here you can see bunch of URLs associated with Xanti and you can easily figure out the suspicious domains if any. Now similarly to see endpoints, copy the path. Mm, perfect. Type cat and paste it. Enter. You can even find all these URLs derived from mobile application in a download folder. Go to download, apk to url, endpoints, zenti endpoints and here you are. This is how you can easily check the URLs connected with the app before downloading it. Thanks for watching. 